Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are here in Elkhart, Indiana at Dealer Open House showing you guys one of the newest and hottest toy haulers on the market today. This is the 2023 Van Lee Ambition Model 399TH. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Ambition and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited. We are here in Elkhart, Indiana at DLR Open House showing you all the newest, latest and greatest RVs out there. This one being the Ambition. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. Like Matt said earlier, we're here at Dealer Open House, which is the perfect place to basically bring you guys all the newest, latest, and greatest. Yes. So, um, I'm really excited to take a look at this Ambition. We haven't been able to show one yet, and um, I just love this floor plan. Have we not had outside. one yet? I don't think so. Maybe we've had one in like the top videos. I think so. Well, I know we have filmed it a little bit, but I don't think we did a full review. You know what? What happened was last time the window popped out and they didn't want us to film that. Oh. Oh. Well, without further ado, let's begin. All right. Model is Van Lee Ambition, which Van Lee is the division of Tiffin. Look at that guy. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> the model is 399TH. The actual tip to tip length is 43 feet 7 inches. This is the, um, this is horrible, Well, I don't have the... I got, oh no, hitch weight 3,500, dry weight 16,000. Mm. That's a heavy, this is heavy, heavy trailer. Oh, and by the way, this is everybody's first towable video. Andre and I, we've been filming here all morning. Guys, yes. this is dealer open house. There's dealers, there's dealerships. They're coming here to buy these units. So if we have to stop at any time, you might see some rough edits. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Right up front here, Ambition. I love the way it looks. I love the name. Nice color. And then look at these colors. Well, it's like a dark gray and a brown. Yeah, it's I like really that. It's really hard to see what's going on. It almost kind of looks like a snake. Kind you know of, yeah. Really nice. Everything, this is Van Lee, so it's Tiffin. Everything's yep. going to be nice. LED lights, a Kurt Rotoflex pin box, of course. And then storage here. Hey, man, it's an Onan. That's nice right. Nice Onan QG 5500 generator. Very nice. Go. Slam latch door too. Yes, sir. Coming on down, we do have propane tanks right here. Okay. Six point hydraulic auto leveling. Very nice. Nice. Take a step back, you can see okay. the beautiful full body paint job. I know, that's one of my favorite parts of this. Armless awning with wind sensor and everything. And then coming on down here, we do have storage. Okay. Very nice centralized vacuum, TV, satellite, everything. Uh, battery disconnect switch there. Okay. Then coming on downside here, we have these very nice Lippert solid steps. Yes. With hydraulic assist right here. So just like that with one hand, you can easily lift up and down the RV. And then you have these great big grab handles here. There you go. Coming on down. This actually might, no, it's a 23, but in 2022, Tiffin celebrated 50 years. Congratulations. Yes. Mr. Tiffin and his whole family. Right here, we do have an LG TV on the outside, which you don't see this on toy haulers, right? Right, not or, a lot. Or Sometimes you do. But... Towables, like you always see this on motorhomes, but yeah. never, never there. Frameless windows throughout the whole thing. Speakers on the outside. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Coopers. I love those. These are the 215-75 R17.5 with the Road Armor Trail Air Suspension from Lipper. Here it is. 399THX with the 15 foot garage. Hmm, I thought it was 16. 15 right there. Well, that's why. Interesting. This is why we have the specs for America. That's right. And this is why we come to Indiana where it's warm one minute and <laughs> freezing cold the next that's minute. That's right. We do it for you guys. Next, another door. This one leads into the garage. Another set of solid steps. Another set of crab handles. Another set of hydraulic nice. assistance. Nice. They did not cheap out at all. Right. Very nice. With the Lippert steps too. Okay. Super great. Coming around the back wheel, we do have the nice Lippert, Lippert uh, patio set here. Yep. This back door drops down. It's your ramp. You can see that going on there. And then... Uh-oh. Are we going to be able to get around? 
Well, I'll, I, I got it. Well, we'll see we'll meet you. you on the other side. We'll meet you on the other side. Okay. So we're going over here and we don't want to touch that box. Get all fried up. Right here, we do have 50 amp power cord with a reel. Love that. Over here, we have our gas fill up and everything. This is where you can do all that. So that you can fill up your toys, your bikes, your motorcycles, your ATVs and everything. Over here, you do have the Truma Hot Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater. Here's your water connections and everything. City waters, water purifiers, auto leveling control, and another propane tank. Well, well, and there had to be backup camera prep. Yeah. And then also there is slide toppers uh, on the slide outs as well. Nice. Want me to show that? Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Well, well, the outside of this toy hall looks absolutely beautiful, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. To the we'll right. Go to the right first. All right. Upstairs to the right, you will see the bedroom. Coming down, or behind that, you have the bathroom. And then coming down. Hey, look who's here! Hi guys! It's Jen! What's going on? What are you doing in here? I'm relaxing and staying out of the cold. Yes ma'am, <laughs> yes ma'am. Keep showing what we got going okay. on Okay, nice kitchen, living area, dining area, all comboed into one. And then in the back is the garage and half bath right here. Where are we starting today? Well, well, I don't know. With Jen being here, how are we gonna give a big shout out to Lipper? Maybe like this. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kerr A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols, telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring yes, this video. Let's continue the video. Man, thanks, Jen. No problem. Will, where do you want to start today, sir? Um, let's see the garage. We're in the garage. Okay. Big 15-foot garage. This is absolutely huge. We have the weatherproof doors right there. Will, it's still warm in here. It is. It, uh, guys, I'm telling you, it is cold outside. Nice bunk bed up top. This drops down. The seat swift up for a uh, dinette area. You also have the very nice slippered solid steps. Those are for the patio in the back, nice. and you know there's an awning there as well. Not only that, you have the ladder yep. to get up on this bunk bed. Sir William, if you want to show the TV and everything. All right, storage up top. Yes. Nice TV here. Yes, I sir. This one drops down. It doesn't look like it. Okay. And then more storage up top here. Very nice. And then coming on down, Will, this is very unique. Okay, one, we have all the D-Rings. Yeah. 15-foot garage, really nice. You know what's interesting is it's not washer dryer prepped here. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. It's um, interesting. Interesting. Probably because it's in the front. Yeah. But here's what else is interesting. It's a pretty big bathroom. But I'm not going to lie. It looks like they went a little extra with this. Yeah, big old vanity and everything. Yep, we'll talk about it. Which is nice, but we'll hang on. Oh yes, no sir. No. No I mean, no I, I literally, I could brush my teeth while <laughs> taking a poop. You know what I'm saying? Right. I do not know why they did that. Because parameter wise, dimensional wise, this is a great half bath. It is. Porcelain. Well, this is not a prime pooping position. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't even sit here, dad. Really? Yeah, try it. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, sit there. Barely. My leg is like pushed into here. Right. It's funny. Okay. Cool. What are you doing over there, Jen? Just chilling. Eating some raisin bread? <laughs> raisin <laughs> bread? Oh, no, cinnamon bread. Cinnamon, cinnamon that's French what it toast. was. Iced cinnamon bread. Yes. Toast bread. Oh, sorry. 
Auburn. We we spent the weekend at our friend Becky. Yep. Uh, she has a harvest host. You guys remember Becky B. She has a harvest host. And uh, we did all the Michigan people stuff yeah. over the weekend. That's fun. Jen, yeah. how do you feel? I'm very comfortable. I love the cedar seat. It's like a suede kind of fabric. Right. Yes. So we actually keep getting in a lot of trouble by calling Van Lee Furniture Thomas Paine. I it know. It is definitely not. Tiffin or Van Lee, they all their furniture is all custom mm -hmm. to their product. And you can definitely tell how nice it is. Oh, wow. look at that. Even that oh, does that. Adjust the backs That's oh, cool. I man. want that. Very nice. You got your cup holders here. Yep. Okay. This is weird with three people. <laughs> right. Look at those valances. Approved. Bing. Oh, that's the Gen Valance seal of approval. And then we do have daytime shades and privacy shades there. Okay. Then directly across is the TV Entertainment Center. Okay. <clears throat> Very nice. See, that looks like it's a higher end sound system. Yeah, it really does. Nice big TV here. Over here, a little bit of storage. Nice sound part, fireplace that does produce heat based off electricity. And then dad, if you could show oh, yep. that storage up there. Okay. Thanks dad. <laughs> nice bed up there. Yes. And then look at this, eight huge wow. cabinet doors. I'll just open these. Okay. So people <clears throat> can see. Is that not there you huge? Go. Really is. Very, very nice. And they're all soft closed. Very nice. And then over here is the dinette. Now this dinette you said was optional, right? Yes, so you can get like the three seater sofa, or which doesn't make sense, maybe it'd be a four seater, or like this would be one of those like small two seaters. But, um, and then this is the optional one. I like this solid surface countertop. It's comfortable um, the way the way the world's, well, yeah, the way the world's moving, I would rather have, I'd rather have the extra sofa or the, uh, dinette right here yeah not, not the dinette the uh, little office area right and then miss jen yes if you could we don't know the msrp can you please just wave it on the screen for america it'll be right here bickety boppity boop okay <laughs> will show us this kitchen should we let jen do the honors no you no sure? yeah, she's chilling okay. hey. i like my theater seat yeah <laughs> okay Right over here, we have the convection microwave. Yes, sir. Made by Insignia. Nice little window here. Solid surface backsplash. That's interesting. That's weird. Yeah. A little bit of counter space on both sides of the four burner Insignia cooktop, which has the blue light and a nice um, residential sized oven. Ooh, turkey tested. Turkey approved. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'd be okay. funny. The whole video, we just go. <laughs> it's really cool. Go, 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 go. Right. But like the whole video, we just turned yeah. to Jen and it bangs. <laughs> okay, over here is a very nice residential LG refrigerator. Very nice. And freezer down below. Yes, sir. Huge pantry right here. Looks okay. Like, look at that. Wow. wow. Lit up and everything. And one of um Tiffin's like specialties is their cabinetry. Yes. So everything here, it's all hardwood. And you can see they just really care, you know, putting this up. Uh, little cable in to make sure nothing gets damaged. Yes. Um, everything's soft closed. Really nice work they do on their cabinetry. Yeah. Sorry. Soft closed too. Yes. Solid surface countertops, mm. nice backsplash, little coffee bar. Yep. It'd be tight to do a taco bar. It's okay. Cool. Is that it? Uh, oh, nope. I didn't do the island, right? Nice little spray faucet here. Nice big single bowl sink. I really like this. Yeah. Almost kind of that farmhouse style. Uh, a little bit of countertop space. And then a couple drawers here. Very nice. And some storage underneath. Oh, all your right. access to your plumbing and all that. Cool. Ready oh, to go. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But wait, there's more. Nice big. Whoa. Right interesting. There. Definitely. Yes. And then also we didn't mention, but nice flush flooring here, which is very nice. Yes. And then Will. Yeah. Time for the shower test. Okay. All right, I don't know who makes this. Kind of feels like the Encore, but kind of doesn't at the same time. Uh, it's Baymont Inc. 
Oh, yeah, so it's not an Encore. Um, nice teak seat there. Good size. Good size. Definitely good width. Decent depth, a little more, a little tighter there, but definitely doable and plenty of head height. Definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. Will, we have no ties to Encore. I don't care if you've never seen an Encore shower again. That's right. All I care about is the shower being that size. Exactly. Phenomenal. Over here, nice little medicine cabinet. Little place for uh, towels right there. Okay. Yes, sir. Right there and there. Nice solid surface for the sink here. Okay. There you go. Yep. You staying in there? Yeah, that's fine. Well, you won't be in there long. You know why? Why? This is a prime pooping position. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Jen, you're working hard today. Right here, we do have a nice sliding door and everything. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> brain. Hey, well, did your brain just do what my brain did? What? Nothing. I'll tell you in a, I'll Okay. Tell, I'll tell you in about two minutes. Okay. Wrapping up here in the king size bed. Wow, look at this. Headboard, windows, and uh, storage. There's a lot going on here. It really is. USB's going on right there. Very nice storage mm -hmm. here. Okay. Very nice storage here. Oh, you got plugs and outlets if you need a CPAP machine. Windows and everything, and it's just, you know, nice. Yeah. Oh. Over here, the TV. We have the storage. Okay, see what they got going on here? Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. <clears throat> Here, Will, is where you would put yes. a stackable washer and dryer if needed. Okay. Very nice. And then we have more storage and everything right there. Very nice. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, it's time we give people three things we love, three things we don't love about the new Ambition. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. First thing I dislike is how windy it is now outside. <laughs> right. Okay, dislikes. I got number one. Okay. Remember when I went, hmm? Yeah. Please stand in here. Okay. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Watch my feet, please. Okay. I leave here. I have to come down to go in. Yeah, that's annoying. That's... I've never seen that. Right. Um... That is very weird. Not only that, if I'm gonna be a little petty, mm -hmm. which I can do today, uh, well, look at the curved steps. Yeah. I'm just not a fan. Okay. Just a combo, that's dislike number one. Will, I have a dislike number two, if you don't mind. Sure. Or maybe it was a like. Okay, no, your go, dislike number two. For me, Truthfully, I don't like this flip up counter thing. Okay. What do you think, Jen? It's like, I don't like it either, but there's I also know. A, not so a lot of little counter counter right. things. Right. Yeah. But what I will say is, I like the concept, but it's just always hard when it's that not low. Yeah, when it's that low. Like, it's one thing to be like off by like that. Yeah. No, I, I, I concur with you. Mm -hmm. That's dislike number two. <clears throat> and then, do you have a dislike number three? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I know. Well, this huge vanity. What actually ticks me off about this bathroom is how much square footage wise it takes. It's actually a big bathroom. It's huge. You could for a toy hauler. Like, you could have made this a full bathroom. Almost, yeah. And they weren't even able to accomplish a prime poop position on what? a freaking half bath. I keep losing at deals, and I don't want to make a deal anymore. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. Love the double doors. Love the huge unobstructed garage. It's gonna sound stupid. I love the Lippard hydraulic steps on all of them. Right. Not cheapening out on anything. Yep. Everything that they did, any aftermarket accessory that's not Van Lee, they they really took the time to spend the money. I mean, look at the Lippard steps for the patio. Everything is high end, top of the notch. Even the sound system, I don't know the yeah. brand and I don't wanna pretend like I do, but you can tell that it's good quality. That is number one. Yeah. 
For me, dislike number two, I mean, well, like number likes. two is going to be the um, outside paint job. Now, Talk it's really windy, windy, so I'm not going to go back out there. Yep. Um, but they just did a really, really good job with it, I think. And it's just truthfully one of my favorite aspects of it. Perfect. Jen, I know you're working real hard over here, but what's like number three? I think like number three is just a combo of the quality of the cabinetry and like all the wood in here. Yeah. And just the colors. It's really bright. Like they did really good like recess lights in here. Yeah, they so did. It feels very light and bright and you can tell the cabinets are high quality. And not only that, the furniture is high quality mm -hmm. and the furniture is not Thomas Paine collection. Yes. That's right. Uh, I, I think legally I had to say that right. if I wanted to be in another Tiffin. <laughs> this, but truthfully, all jokes aside, this is very high end stuff mm -hmm. and Yes, it might look like the competitors, but it doesn't feel like it in the features. Yeah. It's just completely different. Cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this unit, all you guys got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're going to make sure we get you guys great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Will, is there anything you want to say? Sure. Hey guys, uh, yeah, again, thank you all so much for watching, and um, it's so great being here at Open House to be able to see everything new, the latest, the greatest, the best of everything. Yeah. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below, let us know three things you like, three things you dislike, and make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Yeah, and let us know, guys, if you like seeing all this new stuff before it really like gets out in yeah. the market. Because we're excited to be here and get to see all of this before it really releases to the dealership. So yes, right, yes. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.